Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Fans of Sister Wives are criticizing Cody and Robin Brown for what appears to be staged moments. Of the four marriages Cody took delight in, theirs is the last that is still going strong. She seemed annoyed or afraid to tell the truth at times. She even desired to cling to Mary Brown in order to have a supporter. But are these too sincere in what they say and do, or is everything staged and orchestrated? For additional information, continue reading. Fans of Sister Wives criticize Cody and Robin Brown's practice scenes. Robin Brown was as excited as a schoolgirl when she was first introduced at the start of Sister Wives' first season. She boasted that she simply loved Cody Brown and that he was her soulmate. She had, however, before attempted monogamy, and that was not what she desired. She admired the Browns' seeming success as polygamists and desired that way of life for her three children and herself. Some could claim that Robin broke the Brown family, but she did manage to win over the wives and the other twelve Brown children. She is now Cody's lone surviving wife and his only legitimate wife. Furthermore, it appears as though the two have practiced their chats together. Additionally, Robin can change her character at any time and is always acting like a victim and pretending to cry. When they saw this, fans created a Reddit thread. As the original poster noted, for the majority of the presentation, Robin maintained her sullen demeanor, but when they discussed Cody's hair, she lost it and grinned. Does she strive to appear unhappy only to look that way? Other admirers of sister wives commented. I think that Cody and Robin practiced a lot, but I'm not sure what the intention was. If Crobin appears pleased and happy too soon, it will reveal to those who are against them that the pair wanted the other spouses to go. It was also observed that Robin appeared to be under pressure to maintain the impression that she never wanted the previous marriages to end. Because Robin Brown must be the victim, she is unable to appear happy in any way. Even though she is comfortable with her family disintegrating, she wants to appear depressed. Meanwhile, some people don't get why Cody and Robin had to take action. Nobody would give a damn or put them in an awkward situation if they had ever had issues or were flawed. But Mary Brown and her best friend, Jen Sullivan, were mentioned in addition to Cody and Robin. Supporters thought Jen entering the talk back sessions and speaking as Mary's mouthpiece was incredibly funny. In addition, she was behaving as if she was unaware of Mary, Cody, and Robin's interactions. One person said these were funny reactions because she had probably heard the entire tale already. Ultimately, Viewers will probably never know what is true and what isn't on these shows because it can be difficult to tell. Do you believe that Sister Wise has practice? Please share your opinions in the comments section below. Sister Women suggest that she used Cody Brown for fiscal benefits. She came a part of the Brown family in 2010. Robin willingly joined the polygamous menage, knowing that she'd have to partake her hubby with three other women Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown. Robin always acted kindly towards everyone in the family. She treated all the children as if they were her own and tried to be the voice of reason. Robin came Cody's most biddable woman because of her unresistant nature, which inspired him to put all his time and energy into her. As time passed, Cody began to watch lower about his other marriages. He concentrated utmost of his attention on his relationship with Robin, causing his other women to feel neglected and lonely. Cody started spending lower time with everyone, and this issue came to a head during the COVID-19 epidemic. In 2021, Christine made the delicate decision to leave Cody and marry another man. Her bold choice motivated Mary and Janelle to do the same over the following two times. These departures eventually forced Cody into a monogamous relationship with Robin, which may have been what she always wanted. Robin made a big change when she married Cody. Coming from a monogamous background, she purposefully chose to come a part of his polygamous family to produce a stable and loving home for herself and her three children. It did not take long for her to drink a new addition to the family. 
showing her commitment to Cody and their unborn together. After marrying Cody, Robin set up fiscal security and a sense of belonging as a member of the Brown family. In just a short quantum of time, she became a homeowner and a dame in their polygamous family. Over time, Robin and Cody came closer. While the other sister women managed their liabilities on their own, Robin always had Cody's support. From buying a house to being the proprietor of the sister women brand, my sister wife's closet, Robin achieved all her dreams through her marriage. She also came a part of sister women and came the main focus. Robin indeed ended up with a larger share of the Coyote Pass land, which Cody had firstly planned to resolve inversely among his family. Robin went from having nothing to having it all in just ten times. Robin also remained amenable to Cody, making him feel that she was his ideal partner. Rather of forming strong connections with her fellow family women and participating her hubby inversely among all four families, Robin tried to keep Cody simply to herself. As time passed, the other sister women grew sick of feeling neglected. Despite this, Robin did not do much to ensure that Cody divided his time inversely among all his mates. Robin firstly wanted a polygamous relationship with Cody, but over time, she ended up keeping him all to herself. She sluggishly converted their polygamous dynamic into a monogamous marriage, indeed going as far as melting Mary's ring and impacting Cody to disjoin Mary. Robin also adroitly convinced Cody to borrow her children from a former marriage fairly, solidifying her position as his one and only woman. Throughout the COVID-19 epidemic, she continued to prioritize her relationship with Cody, not laboriously addressing any enterprises that Mary, Chanel, or Christine may have about their living arrangement. Still, in 2023, Wendlin Brown, Cody's son, participated her studies on their spending habits. When mentioned, I believe that my pater and Robin have a terrible habit of spending exorbitantly and not living within their means. Robin and Cody feel to have a history of reigning their children with lavish gifts, while others admit little or nothing at all. Robin may present herself as sweet and demure in sister women, but the verity is she insulated Cody and conceivably took advantage of him financially. As time passed, Cody began to watch lower about his other marriages. He concentrated utmost of his attention on his relationship with Robin, causing his other women to feel neglected and lonely. Cody started spending lower time with everyone, and this issue came to a head during the COVID-19 epidemic. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.